Each year, the mention of Taiwan in the Chinese Premier's work report receives intense scrutiny, and more so this year, after the self-ruled island put the pro-independence and democratic Progressive Party back in the presidential office for a historic third term. CNA's Deborah Wong explains. We want to Note the mention that China says it will resolutely oppose separatist activities aimed at Taiwan independence and external interference. It's a harder line than last year's report, which called for peaceful reunification. Just as January, Taiwan elected William Lai as president, a figure that Beijing considers a separatist. It's also warned the U.S. repeatedly that Taiwan was a red line that shouldn't be crossed. All official communication between the two sides ceased since the DPP came to power in 2016. Though Lai has expressed desire to restart talks with Beijing, ties remain frosty. China has always maintained that Taiwan is an inalienable part of its territory and that reunification will not be stopped. So these days they also notice that it's getting uh, more and more unrealistic to achieve such kind of goal uh, given the current international and uh, domestic situation in Taiwan. Uh, especially after the presidential election this year, uh, the pro-independence uh, DPP continue to uh, hold the power and it seems uh, that the, the uh, negotiation um, across the streets uh, actually has very little room uh, to maneuver, uh, at least for this year. Elsewhere, Premier Li Tiang signaled China's intention to continue its economic diplomacy, saying that it will further promote high-quality belt and road cooperation. It's the country's massive infrastructure development project that has presence in Latin America and Southeast Asia. It also wants to move forward with negotiations on building China-ASEAN free trade agreements and make it easier for foreigners to work, study and travel in the country. Mr. Li also reiterates that China is committed to an independent foreign policy of peace and a win-win strategy of opening up. Deborah Wong, CNA, Beijing.